Manuel Ford's book, Painting Pets on Rocks, inspired me to try it. And this is not the actual book, it's a copy. But it's a very well done book. A girlfriend le loaned it to me, and um, here's the cat that I did. It talks about, you know, trying to make it look like fur by using a small brush and splinter strokes, she calls it. So, she doesn't really give you a pattern. It's just you improvise. And I, I loved that it was on the rock already so I could get the shape of the rock and just draw it out. Um... As best I could. Here she's got pictures of cats and she does a good job of. See, I couldn't take this picture and go, hmm, what's my this cat? <laughs> but she did a great job. So she's quite an artist. Yep. Let's get busy getting kitty into shape. So these are all acrylic paints and acrylic I've had these paints for quite a long time they do keep well and the plastic bottles containers are the best if you keep the lid on tight then you should be able to use them for a number of years I think mine are over 10 years old so I wanted to darken up the cat just a little bit so I like this kind of mustard color. I thought it would go great against the black, which I'll add on later. And um, so I just started with the gold. I'm going to continue and add a little bit of white for depth and darken up the green eyes, that kind of thing. I've had this cat for, <laughs> gosh, 15 years, and every time I looked at him, he looked like he was fading a little bit more, so I thought, I gotta go back in and I'll put it on my DIY. So, that's what I'm doing, and you guys get to watch. Hmm. So, I, um, I do love painting, um, the rock painting idea when that first came out. That was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. I should do some more. I, I also noticed um, taking my walks, little rocks that some kids had painted and you know for inspiration just for this COVID-19 thing and I think it just puts a smile on people's faces knowing that other people care and they know you're <clears throat> you're going through the same thing. So this is a gesso that's a base coat. It's just an acrylic gesso base coat that helps the paint, you know, stick to the rock. So always start off with the white unless you want the background. They also have it in black so um, they give you a, a choice black or white and I've I have used the black but I do prefer the white but you can get some really striking colors um, with the black in the background so um, yeah I just I'm gonna shut up now and let you watch
I decided to make the kitty cat's ears, interior ears, pink. So I'm using um, Liquitex Crimson Red uh, mixed with white. A very little, tiny bit of red to make the pink. Small blog, blogger blog. I'm a blogger. started to use uh, black paint for um, well here you can't see it but <laughs> sorry my hands in the way I painted the paw out first how I kind of wanted it to be but then I realized I didn't want it to be black I wanted it to be pink so I started to erase it and start over again and I messed up the paw so <laughs> the way it goes sometimes. So I added more white and that'll be the last one I do because it's the most wet.
dad used to say, you don't always have to use the brush part to paint with, so I got the idea of dabbing the dots for his whiskers with the back of the paintbrush. And it worked really well. did the whiskers with a sharpie fine point ultra fine point sharpie so I just kind of went like this see Turned out cute. I look like his feet got cute too. Mm. They're a little pink, but you know, as time they'll fade. Trust me. <laughs> so now I just gotta find a clear paint to put over it, or a spray maybe. Spray paint, clear spray paint. Would probably be the easiest. All right. Well, thanks for watching, friends. And happy rock painting. Get inspired. <laughs>